Hey guys, uh, my name is Jose Paulo Reis uh, and we are here to show you uh, one more fantastic tutorial from Top Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to really do a fantastic movement uh, effect in Photoshop. Very easy to do that. With the quick steps you can achieve a fantastic result, okay? You are ready? If you are ready, let's get started. First of all, uh, what we have to do is um, have a really good photo. Uh, I chose a photo of a dancer with some movement uh, and it's very good to, to work with this, this kind of uh, images. When we, we open the, the image, we have this block layer. We can click two times, okay, hit OK, and uh, the layer is open. Uh, right click on the mouse or the, the pen convert to smart object. It's very important because we're gonna do some adjustments on the, the layer and uh, with, with the smart object don't affect uh, the original layer, okay? We're gonna go to filter, blur gallery, path blur. It's very easy to, to work with the, the path blur, okay? It, it, it appears the direction of the blur. You can, you can change to where we want, okay. I'm gonna go uh, path blur, something like that. I'm gonna really do another path blur, something like that. One tip here, if you want to erase, you're gonna pick the backspace and erase the, the path blur. If you're gonna do a new path blur, you have to hold down the mouse or the pen tool uh, to give the, the end of the path, okay? And after that, you can change what you want. Something like that, okay? And we curve something like that. Another another tip on this kind of effect, you can modify the, the, the curves uh, of the motion that you want to do on your image, okay? If you go there, some I want, really want to do something like this, and I will want to do Another one, something like that, okay? After that, it's very easy to do. You're gonna go to the, the right window here and only have to do is give more speed to, to your paths, okay? More speed. And if you want to change anything on the path, you can change. You can do what you want, okay? It's very easy to work with the path blur, very easy to do. I think it really looks very good looks great, okay? It's something that really gives us a fantastic result and gives a fantastic effect in Photoshop. You can use the tapper because the tapper removes the, the speed what, that you that you put on the on the motion. You only need to modify the, the speed of the, the motion blur. Okay, it's something like that. We have a fantastic look with this, this kind of thing. Yeah, it, this is something amazing. It's a bit exaggerated. I'm gonna show you how to equilibrate a little bit the effect. Uh, it's very easy. You you have a layer mask with the smart filters that we create. We're gonna paint with black in the areas that we don't want the the effect of the motion blur. We we have the opacity of 100%. You can you can change and can reduce to 50%. Okay, something like that. Okay. If you're gonna paint with white, it appears and again the mo the motion blur. And if you paint with black, it removes. I really love this kind of effect. Okay, it's very easy to do in Photoshop. Okay, I think it's good. You you can modify what you want. You can do the kind of uh, blur that you want. For conclude this this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to give some movements or some dynamic movement to our text. We're gonna. Uh, choose text tool okay write what you want i'm trying to to put the image more appealing with decent text okay i'm gonna duplicate the layer command j in, in um, mac uh, control j in, in windows okay i'm gonna rasterize type rasterize type is saying that the the, the text that we create it's transforming shape convert to smart object something like that okay we do go to filter Blur gallery, path blur. Then I'm gonna slow down the speed, okay? And try to not exaggerate the the movement of the, the lettering, okay? Something like that, okay? Yeah. 
This creates a layer mask where we can, if we paint in black, appear the initial text that we did, okay, something like this. Yeah, it really works well. We, we can move the layers where we want to put the dynamic text and we have our image that we create very fast and a really nice looking. Hope you like this this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell to to never never lose a tutorial from me. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching my my video. I'm really glad that you are watching this. And please share with your friends. And I hope you can help you in more uh, lessons. Bye bye. Thank you.